Welcome now to bring you sports on the Joy News today with me, Muftaru Nabila Abla, one of Ghana's gold medalists in the just ended African Games. Mohamed Ayute has called on the government of Ghana and the Ghana Boxing Authority to invest in the sport. According to him, with the right investment, Ghana will be able to win more medals in subsequent competitions. Most of our, our friends that, and our colleagues that we start with, some of them have stopped boxing due to um, financial problems and stuff. Some of them too are still in the game and I think uh, we need a lot of support. And uh, We all come from Jamestown and it's not that really easy for us. Um, we are putting ourselves, we are trying all our possible best that we could get to somewhere. But as, as we are all doing it and we don't get a lot of support, you know, there are so many people that stopped on the way. But we, we just have the focus that uh, when the going gets tough, the tough must get going. So we just put our, our, our aim and our determination and everything in it. And we, we hope to get somewhere. Mm, I see. So there's a lot in terms of support that you guys need. Yes. Tell me about the infrastructure that is around generally. I mean, the gyms and how well equipped they are. I mean, you have been out there in the U.S. You've had the opportunity to go and fight outside in the U.S. You look at what's happening there. What would you want to see change here in our system? All right, we have to get a lot of training equipments and I think training equipments and, and uh, training equipment is the most important thing because uh, some of our clubs here in Ghana, we don't have uh, good training equipment and also the boxes, we, we don't have, um, we are lacking the financial support to, for real, because some of us, we, we just close from training and if we don't get what to eat and all those stuff, so th those ones are the most important things that I think we need. And these are some of the things when we get, it really inspire us to put much focus in the game because we don't get it. Let's, let's wrap up this conversation with what you want to do going forward. Um, there's one more opening for Olympic qualification in Thailand. Is this something you'd want to explore? All right, so I'm willing to, to stand for Ghana for the second time at the Afri uh, Olympic qualifiers, and I'm hoping to qualify also with a gold medal and to the Olympic Games also, and to bring gold medal. If they could give me the opportunity, I'm there to do my best. You were also in Italy? Yeah. Were you in Italy? No, 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 I'm you were, you were not yeah. in Italy, okay, good. So, so, so you, you really want that opportunity so you can... Exactly, can I want the yourself. opportunity to prove myself as well, to give Ghana an Olympic medal, gold medal as well. Finally, uh, what are you doing between now and when uh, the team is reconstituted? All right, so now I'm still preparing. I'm still preparing and if they could call me a camp, I'm ready to, to do it also for Ghana because not that something that I can't do it, but I've done it before and I can still do it. So I'm still preparing for, for that. If they could give Now, let's talk about um, other disciplines, specifically in football, where in, in Techiman, there was um, a footballing competition organized by the MP of the area to unearth talents in the sport. My colleague Anas Sabit was there and has more in this report. A total of 132 teams from eight different zones participated in the maiden edition of the Ajari Inter-Community Soccer Gala, with the Super Zonals being held here at the Jamatin Punim Ajari Community Park. The initiative forms part of the MP's programs of action to foster unity amongst communities in the Techiman North Enclave with the ultimate aim of unearthing soccer talents for professional career development. Elizabeth Ofosu Ejari is the brain behind this and the member of parliament for Tichiman North. The reason for organizing Elizabeth Ofosu Ejari Intercommunity Gala is to unearth talent for the football profession. And in all, I played 132 teams. It was so amazing. I was not expecting to get that number, but it was so awesome that the people were so interested in the football and they gave their best to make sure that it became successful. Then at the end of the day, eight teams qualified for the final. I brought scouts from Juventus. Uh, I brought staff to also encourage them 
to motivate them so that they see some of these people, talk to them, interact with them, and then encourage them to take football seriously. That's your sports for now. Who do have more sports stories on myjoyonline.com.